So thank you, and I'll bring up the Sergeant at Arms. Okay, let's go. Thank you, Jedi Merrick. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow Toastmasters and guests, welcome to the 2011 Table Topics Contest. Contestants, if you have not yet gathered near the rear door, do so. I will be back there to escort you to the holding area where contestants who are not up will be held until it's their turn. And at this time, I would like to introduce our contest <laughs> chair, Ms. Donna West. Donna? Millicent Southern. Millicent Southern 
is contestant number three. Contestant number four is Tim Wilson. Tim Wilson is contestant number four. Contestant number five is Joanne Telsa Frere. Joanne Telsa Frere is contestant number five. And contestant number six is Kevin Henderson. Kevin Henderson is contestant number six. <laughs> we now have our speaking order identified. And Mr. Sergeant at Arms, will you at this time please escort all contestants out of the room except for our first contestant being Johnny Hudson. I'm getting the signal that that has been done. We're on it. Let's keep moving. All right. We are ready to hear from our Table Topics contestant. There will be one minute of silence between each contestant. Timekeepers, when I advise you, please make certain that you give me the signal with the green light that one minute is up. After all contestants have spoken, the judges will be given all the time they need to complete their ballots. We will now begin the Table Topics contest. Contestant number one, Johnny Hudson. Do you usually feel nervous or excited when you're first at something? Do you usually feel nervous or excited when you're first at something? Johnny Hudson. Nervous or excited when you're first at something? 
Do you usually feel nervous or excited when you're first at something? Tiffany Cook.
He encouraged me. He motivated me. He opened my eyes to a world I didn't even know existed. Initially, I felt nervous. Today, I feel empowered. I feel that this is something that everyone will initially feel nervous doing. But with practice, with motivation, with encouragement, and with their membership in a Toastmasters club, they will gain the confidence to stand in front of a group like you, recite a poem, say a prepared speech, or participate in an extemporaneous speaking contest. Fellow Toastmasters and honored guests, I embrace 
that nervousness. Matt, table time, too.
Thank you, Madam and Mr. Tynan. Contestant number six, Kevin Henderson. Do you usually feel nervous or excited when you're first at something? Do you usually feel nervous or excited when you're first at something? Kevin Henderson. Madam Contest Master, fellow Toastmasters, dignitaries, guests, and fellow contestants, I have to tell you, in the back of the room when she first asked me that something, I felt pretty nervous. <laughs> and that's typically how I feel when I'm first asked a question. My first reaction, because of the type of person I am, is I get a little bit anxious and a little bit excited about it, which is why I'm completely confused as to how I've made it this far in the table topics contest at all. So typically, when I'm asked a question, my first reaction is, I have to answer it perfectly. So I really have to think about, what's my response going to be? And how do I put my answer together? And that causes me to be nervous inside. Of course, it always depends a little bit on the question. Like if someone were to ask me, would you care to have a million dollars? I'd feel pretty excited and not as much nervous in that type of question. But typically, fellow Toastmasters, I'm a pretty nervous guy on the inside, and when the question comes, it's hard for me to figure out exactly how I'm going to answer it, which leads even more to the anxiety. So I've been practicing my table topic skills. I've been carefully flexing my muscles inside so that nobody can notice it to help me relax. Taking a deep breath, and then answering the question. So that even though inside I'm going a little bit crazy with how anxious I am, nobody can tell on the outside. <laughs> so if you're going to ask me a question that's going to make me feel excited right now, the question would be, do I just have a few seconds left? And the answer is yes. And I'll return control to you, Madam Tabletop. <laughs> by the ballot counters. Yes. 
after we have all the ballots. to the one that you're in now. Am I hearing that correctly? 
you know, but I have visited a number of clubs in the downtown area, so I am familiar with other clubs. Okay, so you feel as if people belong to more clubs. I belong to every club in Tulsa. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of belong to every club, have you done the club ambassador program yet? I'm actually looking into that, and someone actually pulled me to the side about participating. All right. Well, you know, participating tonight in the Table Topics contest, go ahead and give the club ambassador program a try as well. So not only can you Say you've done it, but you can get an award to go along with it. So thank, thank you, Millicent.
I'm representing the Granger Club Figures of Speech, number 1856, founded in part by our keynote speaker, Mike Spuda. I've been a member of our Granger Club for 15 years. Oh. I'm an advanced communicator bronze and advanced leader one of those levels. <laughs> <laughs> you said an advanced leader one of those levels. I love it, I love it, I love it. But here's something I want to know from you, Kevin. Here on your bio, you've said that you visited a Toastmasters Club meeting in China in January of 2011. Tell us a little bit about that trip. Did. In November, I joined Ranger's Global Sourcing Group, and half of my team is located in Shanghai, China. And I've been a member of Toastmasters for a long time, and I thought it was time that I put the international in it. So I contacted my team and said, here's a list of clubs in Shanghai, tell me which one is close. Sent off an email, they welcomed me to the club. There were about 50 people packed in a small room when they heard someone from America was coming to visit their club. <laughs> it, it was a phenomenal experience. I would encourage everyone who's traveling to add visiting Toastmasters clubs into your agenda.